Welcome back to AI the Summoning Files. My name is Jake. Uh, last time we did Iris the Summoning again. This time we are in this mumbo jumbo she has been telling us. So let's start our fight against secret organizations. We're here, or we're here with our pal Moma. He's protecting us with the gun. That's exactly what's happening. It was a business hotel. It was a two-bed room. <gasps> Don't say misleading things. We got two rooms, each with two beds. We did bathe together, though. No, we didn't. What? Isn't your gang supposed to be clean? Why are you here, anyway? I told Moma about the attack by... Nice. Thanks. I okay. see. I heard about the shooting in Golden Yoko Show last night, but I never thought it'd be you. Check the stuff. Hey, Iris. What does a candle remind you of? Um, fire? Anything else? What, like a dick? I wasn't asking you. You're ruining everything, Mom. There's something about this that's so black. It's like, how much more black could this be? None. None more black. Okay. Well, yeah, are you should <laughs> reply after three. Nursing home magic show. Huh? 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 Partition! That's a stretch. Yes. The other side, Dragon Ball. No. Why can't you just <laughs> go around? <laughs> so yeah, let's see what we have. Let's speak to Iris first. Iris is standing there, how school? School? Today's Tuesday. It's not another holiday, is it? What are you? Dense? Tessa was almost kidnapped. She can't be going to school now. I guess that's true, but... Do you want to call your mom? Well, that's random. Not really. I just thought she might be worried. It's fine. She knows already. I told her I'm with you. I'm sure she's not worried. About Renju. Maybe Mr. Okiyoro was a part of Nice. What? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking out loud. So we... We won't meet Renju because we... He's an enemy this time. What makes you think that? When we were at Sunfish Pocket, my friend said... He was looking for Iris. And then later, I almost got kidnapped by Nice. So in the other timeline, she's like, that is a mini face. That's why he trusts Renju more. Was that just a coincidence? Dots. And not just that. When you found my corpse in the parallel world, you found it in an Okiara warehouse. Whoever killed me in that world was probably affiliated with Nice. That makes me think the Okiaras and Nice are connected. I think the first uh, thing she said. Could be plausible, but I don't think so. That that Renju is looking for her, and then she said act, but don't think that's true. But Renju, maybe Nice ordered Mr. Okiara to help Number Eighty Nine escape. Mm, do you know who Number Eighty Nine is? And Number 
89 is an assassin. If he wanted to get rid of me, Mr. Okira must have... If that's true, it could be related to Shoko's murder. Shoko must have found out about the organization. They killed her for getting too close, then displayed the body as a warning. It all comes back to nice. Once we solve the mystery of nice, everything else will fall into place for so I don't. If you want to know more about nice, why not ask Ota? Remember what he said yesterday? I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. Good point. You might have more information for us. Yes. Reliable information. Moment sitting on the other side of the desk. Where are your lackeys? When you told me you were coming, I made them leave. I can't let them see me with Tessa. About nice. Sorry, never heard of them. Are they even real? <laughs> yeah. Yes! Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, of course. <laughs> I've always known deep down there must be some kind of secret organization. Always known it. Dots. Dots. Anyway, I, I got some info about the shootout. Those guys aren't affiliated with any criminal organization we're aware of. They're not Mafia, or Yakuza, or anything. They must have been hired guns. Uh, by... Niza... Mattis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nice at laws! So yeah, they're part of a, a group, but we don't really know which one. Maybe Zos? Goons. Don't know really anyone else who would have the money to hire dudes. Where is it? Unfortunately, I don't have anything new for you, but uh, I did find out a little nugget of info you might want to hear. What is it? I'll tell you, but uh, Date, come over here. Again with this? With his arm over my shoulder, Moma led me to the corner of the room. I'll tell you, Date, but you gotta do something for me. You wanna shake your hand again? No, 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 I, I did that already. I want to see her panties. Dots, dots. Sorry? I, I, I wanna see Tessa's panties. I really, really, really wanna see. Moma, you're losing it. Gotta let me get a break. She's not gonna let you. Well, can you at least ask? Dots, dots. Unbelievable. Moma and I went back to where we were. Iris, could you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. This guy wants to see your panties. She hit me hard. That's messed up, Date. I know Moma would never say that. <laughs> Right, Moma? Yeah, 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 of course. Date, you evil pervert. Seriously? You just want a handshake, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I tried to tell him. I just took Moma's hand and shook it. Date, this, this is the happiest day of my life. I thought that was yesterday. Where's he? Anyway, what's this intel you got? Check it out. Friday night near Bloom Park, someone saw Renju. What day is today? Fuck. I, I can check it actually. So it's Tuesday now. Four is Monday, three is Sunday. So the first? After the murder, but we did hear about his car being close to the place in the other timeline as well, I think. Friday night. That's 
that's when Shoko was killed. Oh, then. Obviously, that's not enough to pin the crime on him, but it does prove he was there. I guess we should check the merry-go-round again. The police have already thoroughly searched it, and we've been there more than once before <laughs> our investigation. But we might have missed something, right? Again. Summarize. There are three places we can go. First, Blue Park. I'm curious about Renshu being seen there Friday. Second, Matsushi the Diner. I want to ask all the more about Nice. Third, this is the Zijima estate. Zijima was probably the one responsible for Aish's murder in the parallel world. In which case, he might be part of Nice. I need to confront him. Tomorrow is more. Let's go, Iris. Oh, yeah! You're taking Tessa with you? She'll be safer here! I can't do that. I made her a promise. I will be Iris's garter belt. Or what? Uh, sorry. I meant bodyguard. A Freudian slip, no doubt. Well, whatever. But if you're gonna leave, you should take this with you. Mama opened his desk and took out a small object. What's this? A GPS transmitter. Mama, Iris's phone already has GPS. I know, but in case she gets caught and they throw away her phone or something, it's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Thank you. Iris took the GPS transmitter and hid it in her clothes. I hope it'll be useful. Date, if anything happens to her, I'll make sure you regret it for the rest of your life. It'll be fine, relax. Uh, let's leave Sejima for residence last. Let's, let's go here about conspiracies. Since that's the theme for this route, I would say. Maturity the diner to stay. Ota and Misuki were both in the diner. Nice at last. I see. It's not impossible. Ota spoke softly to himself, looking deep in thought. I have Masanori's autograph too, from Shinsen Chatran. Masanori was here? He knows about this place? <laughs> it was from a long time ago. Hey, Date, do you want this poster? No, not really. You know, if you rub the swimsuit with a coin, you can scrape it off. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll throw it away for you. We are a reference. Hey, Date, I've got this video of a girl in a white shirt under a waterfall. Wanna watch? Absolutely not. Meow. What are you doing? Oh, you don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Oh, I see. Didn't Date start the thing? <laughs> Hey, Tessa, can you stack up those beer cases and stand on top? Then I can get on the floor and, um... He can't be serious. Bear. Is that chair comfortable, Tessa? If it's not, you can sit on my back. This man will stop at nothing. This man... Fuck. Salt. Pepper. Yeah. Well rested Mayumi juice. Bleh. Kuroda Kazuaki's liver with anchovy stir fry. Bleh. So yeah, I think that's everything. 
Misugi, you are the least plot relevant in this route. It's Misugi. Why are you here? Well, Ota... Um... Date, can I... Hold a gesture and walk over to the corner of the room. I quit, quietly stood up and followed. Look. I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances... What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Yes. Don't you think she's at her limit? That you do <laughs> making lots of bad decisions in this room. Just... Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. They had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. Guts. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Dots. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? Yes. I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. You should try to understand how she feels. Dots. Do you know where your father is? If you're asking me, he's involved in all this, isn't he? Dots. Is he the culprit? Probably not, since he died in one route. <laughs> Did he really kill mom? Dots. Well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. Yes. After mom got killed, he didn't even call. Yes, that is suspicious. He called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. That is suspicious as well. I thought it was suspicious, but but I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in Daddy. Dots, dots. That is understandable. About Iris. Who is Iris to me? A friend? A big sister? And I kind of envy her. No, stop it! It's true, though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> uh, oh, that probably is the one that gets the things moving forward. So let's talk to Iris, our coach. Iris, you look cold. You okay? Y yeah, fine. I just get cold easily. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit at 62% humidity. Not conditions often considered cold. So yeah, like this is just feels feels so weird and wrong. Mitsuki has lost her mother and it's like we've heard from three people that she's feeling very bad and is hurting her and sleeping not sleeping well and with just like yeah where, where's your father where, 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 where. and then where to iris like hey, how are you cold are you okay can you we, we're gonna protect you blah, blah. <laughs> about mizuki mizuki is like a cute little sister and and my favorite friend i like her a lot how much? About three universes worth. But just three universes? What about 271,828,182,845 universes? Well, I like you double that. Hey, no fair. About Ota. Ota's like my big brother. He's a hero who will help me out of any jam. He's really important to me. I like him a lot. How much? Three Earths worth. <laughs> what is this indescribable feeling of loss? I mean, three Earths is pretty big, but... Nice, nice. She's trembling. I had nothing for me. Shaking my SMH. Where's your mother? She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. 
about Iris. Tessa is my hopes and dreams, my peace and my life. Oh God. My light, my star, my sun, my goddess. She's like the laws of the universe itself. The embodiment of beauty. Oh God. An angel, a lover, a cute mascot to put on a body pillow, a guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. That makes me happy. Yes, let's ignore that. So, about the root. I've heard of them. Nizitlos, or Nize, is a satanic secret society. Like a cult, they sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. <laughs> so, the team is basically a satanist <laughs> that sacrifices children. They've only been active for a few decades, but some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world, an organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But for Nyes, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Ota doesn't know about the Watch system or its connections to Nyes. Iris found out which is why they're after her. The pieces fit. If we're really believing that this guys are real should we get rid of eyeball a eyeball like if I'd, i if i believed this one speed racist stuff i would get rid of the things that are connected to the watch it thing if you believe everything she said sunrise all right iris let's get going you got it Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll come help right away. Me too! I'll save you no matter what, Iris! Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. So let's check this thing. Rothschild. Family at the center of many conspiracy theories. Some claim that they are one of the world's secret ruling families with power and influence in banking, nuclear energy, and nationalistic political parties. See also Rockefeller. Rockefeller. Another family at the center of many conspiracy theories. Some claim that they are one of the world's secret ruling families with power and influence in oil and war profiteering. It would appear on the surface that Rothschilds and Rockefellers hold opposing views, but some conspiracy theorists believe that they are actually operating at the whim of some higher authority. Both families have been the subject of lawsuits claiming that they are bent on <laughs> world domination. So yeah. Um, I learned this year, I've been recording for a while. Uh, not sure if I will have episodes for the rest of the month, but I should have enough for this should come before Christmas Eve. And I can record again on 28th. So probably on the 29th I will continue uploading AI. 
so there will be a one week break there maybe let's see how i have time so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye